Hey guys, um, sorry I have to be quiet. I live in a tiny house and my baby's going to sleep. But I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, one, to apologize for um, the glitch in our Zoom. I'm excited to talk to you guys tomorrow and I got it all figured out. Um, but I just wanted it to be um, right. I want everyone to be there. So tomorrow night at six o'clock. Um, and then I also wanted to touch base after Francis's video today, which I'm so glad she shared. Uh, just about it not being about us and you know us helping people not expecting anything in return um, if they get their programs elsewhere they borrow it you know whatever it is that really what we do here is help people um, and I've been hearing from a bunch of you today that that just really struck a chord with you and that was something you needed to hear so I just thought I would make a quick video um, on piggybacking on that and then also just touching base on one other thing that I feel is really important. Um, I had so much fun at the retreat this weekend and um, I know as our team grows and advances, I was telling um, Amy Patterson tonight, this is like, um, you know, a freaking freight train right now that we can't even stop and I'm so proud to be a part of it um, but I also want you guys to know that I struggle with the same things that you struggle with and that I still feel like a new coach um, last February I was a diamond coach and um, it makes me just super emotional to think about um, that any of you out there would think that you can't do it or that um, some freak of nature like really it's just about heart and helping people and I am the worst salesperson ever and I've been able to build this business and I want you to know that you can too I've never made um, you know my friends or family feel weird or pressured I always just was determined to continue to show on social media that I love this and that I'm committed to this and that I'm passionate about this. And it's attracted people to my business. And people tell me no every single day, every single day. They disappear, they read a message, and they don't write back. Um, but my motto is really energy forward. Uh, we can't want this for people, whether it's our coaches on our team, potential coaches, potential challengers. Um, we can't want it for people. So um, I've just realized that, you know, I can, I can do what I can for them, but then I have to leave it and I have to put my energy forward and know that if I'm working from my heart, that's all I can do. That's all I can do for them until they're ready. So um, it's just moving that energy forward so that I can keep moving along and not let it hurt my feelings or um, set me back, you know, because people will come back around when they're ready if you stick around. Um, if you quit, then you don't give them the opportunity to come back. Um, and I think that's really important to remember. So you do not have to be salesy. You do not have to make people feel weird or uncomfortable. You just go into every conversation focusing on that person and helping that person, and they're going to feel it. And if they're not ready today, they'll be ready later and they'll come back to you because you made them feel good and you still cared about them. Um, so thank you, Francis, for posting that today. Um, I just wanted to reiterate it because um, I will tell you guys on every freaking meeting that we have that I don't send cold messages. It just literally made me sick to my stomach to think about it's not my thing. Um, it's not where I'm my best. And so I focus on sharing my journey super consistently um, with zero excuses and connecting with people and seeing people in person and making them feel good and just letting people know that I'm here. And then, then it comes. So I know for some people they rock at that cold messaging, but I just like to remain transparent because it's not how I've grown my business. And I remember coaching calls, training calls when I was an early, um, you know, when I was a new coach and when I was hearing that I was going to have to do that, I was just like, oh man, can I be successful at this, you know, if I can't do that? Um, and you can, you just have to work extra, extra, extra hard um, at the other stuff. So um, 
I wanted to touch on that and really focusing your energy forward all the time so that you can keep um, helping more people um, and the rest will come back. It's only, you can only stick around and see that people do really come back. Um, but you have to trust in that. That's why they say be here in one year um, because people just take some time to come around um, and to know that they, that you can be taken seriously and that they trust you. Um, the second thing I wanted to touch on is believing in yourself and this opportunity. If there's one thing that um, I know from my early days as a coach is I saw people that were doing this and I saw how normal they were. And I was like, I can do this. If they can do it, I can do it. And when you think that way, it affects the way you behave. If you think that you can't do this, your actions are going to reflect that. And the things that you do or are going to inevitably come back to your initial belief. If you think that you can't, the way you act is going to get the results that you're like, see, I knew, I knew this wouldn't work. Um, so when I hear, you know, coaches saying like, I'm, it's just going to take me a little bit longer. Like I'm just not good at this, or I just don't know that many people. Um, my journey is just a little bit slower. Like just accepting those things. I mean, it's one thing if you're like, I am busy and I want to build this slowly and you're, you're confident about that. But I, I, I hate hearing these fears that end up, just being the excuse that we use when it doesn't work. Like, you know, I'm just gonna take it slow and so we don't act and then it kind of fizzles and then we're like, ah, you know, I knew this, you know, it was probably just for like the 10 top people, which my husband just said in the last few days, he remembers thinking. Um, so then you end up quitting and you're like, oh, see, it's just because I didn't do much. And like we can use that excuse because we're afraid to fail, um, but we just have to go all in and do it and see what can happen um, because you'll be amazed at what happens when you get uncomfortable. You're going to inspire people because you have the balls to do things that they won't do yet until they join your team. Um, but they're going to admire you that you put yourself out there and they're going to wish that they had um, the support and the balls to do that too. Um, and so it's scary. Every scary, everything that you guys are feeling, I still feel and I felt as a new coach. Um, posts are scary. Talking to people and finally, you know, telling them about challenge packs are scary. Like it all, um, we're all on the level playing field here, but you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you deserve this and that you can do it and you just will. Um, by the time you're speaking these things, you've, you've already thought them and then they're just like, you're making them concrete by saying, um, you know, anything other than you can do this. So if you need to create a little mantra for yourself that you say every time before you sit down, if you need to, you know, spend some time really thinking about why you deserve this, um, because you do, then that's what you need to do. Because if you're going to be here, then be here. You know what I mean? It just, it kills me. Um, because at the root of all of this is letting go of fear and believing in ourselves. Um, and with those two magic pieces, like you guys can do anything. So I'm totally rambling and I don't know how long this is, but I just wanted to, um, to touch base on those things with you guys because, um, it's been on my heart and I know it can seem a little crazy lately because our team is just exploding. Um, but I'm still just sitting over here doing the same things that you're doing and I'm here for any of you with as much time as I can be um but I wanted to let you know that because it's on my heart I want you to believe in yourself and believe that you know you are a 15 star diamond you are a top coach um and work like you are and it's going to happen so um with that good night and um if you need anything let me know all right bye